Hey everyone, I wanted to come at you today with something just a little bit different. Don't worry, got another MTG Arena video coming out tomorrow. Uh, but today I wanted to talk to you real quick about Manor Lords. Uh, this game is coming out at the end of April, beginning of May, and I'm pretty hyped about it. It is a, a medieval city builder strategy war game. It gives me some real old school vibes of games I used to really enjoy uh, when I was younger. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys a couple of the trailers that they released and maybe build some of the hype up for you all. Maybe you guys uh, haven't heard of this game and um, now are really interested in it. And if that's the case, uh, awesome. Um, but anyway, um, if you guys want me to play this live, when I go live, um, I might I might try that. Um, obviously, not something that I'm going to do permanently uh, because my content is for uh, MTG Arena. But um, you know, every now and again, we can do something fun. Uh, honestly, I've I've wanted to to do a um, Baldur's Gate 3 live where I play the entire game solely on chat suggestion as far as what I do I, I just I kind of thought that might be fun so you know maybe that's something that you want to to see happen once I go live as well uh, that's going to be happening very soon uh, if you guys were wondering uh, I have two more subscribers uh, required to allow me to go live and once I get those two subscribers um that's what we're going to do. I've already ordered the uh, equipment to do so, and um, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, let's get into these videos. Enough of me talking. I hope you enjoy. See you tomorrow. You have been chosen to govern a land of great peril and promise. It has suffered long from the scourge of banditry, but there is another threat. An illegitimate baron who claims the Northern Territories as his own. Will you prove yourself worthy of this honor? Or will you perish by the traitor's steel? Welcome to Manor Lords. Let's get to work. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to some of the core mechanics of the game, including regional development, trade, and military recruitment. We need more workers here. The map in Manor Lords is divided into regions. Each region has its own resources, as well as a development tree. When you upgrade the residential buildings in the region, you get development points, which you can spend to unlock new development branches. This means that different regions may specialize in different things, 
Some may be more optimized for farming. Some for mining. And some will process the resources to make expensive goods, like shoes or clothing. Depending on the optimization of your production chains, the price of the goods will change, affecting the market attractiveness. Free merchants will travel more frequently to towns that have rare and more affordable goods. These merchants are the only way to get wealth in the game. Lord's treasury, however, is split from the regional wealth. As the lord or lady, you must tax your towns and villages in order to get money for your personal endeavors. There are different taxes giving various benefits. For example, the tithe goes straight to the church, but in return, the church gives you influence. Every so often, the king gives out valuable rewards to the most influential lords on the map, including new territories. You can compliment or insult other lords via the diplomacy system to affect their influence. The recruitment system in Manor Lords has been redesigned after some community feedback. It is now divided into three unit categories. First type of recruits are the peasant militia. You can call to arms the peasants from your villages. They grab whatever improvised weapons they have and join the fight. This will hit your economy and you'll need at least a couple of villages to form an army. If you want better militia, you must train them at the training camp or the archery range. The second type of recruits are mercenaries. They cost silver and a lot of it. The last type is Lord's Retinue. This is a limited, heavily armored unit that you can customize to your liking. Thank you for joining in for this short preview of Manor Lord's gameplay systems. If you're interested in discussing the game, be sure to visit Manor Lord's Discord and subreddit. See you all in the next video. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will make sure that I provide the links below. If you are interested, make sure you are checking these guys out. Um, until next time, take care.